And do you use an emotional branding strategy to supersize and grow your business? Sharon Hornelson here. And the strategy we're talking about today is emotional branding. What the heck is emotional branding and why would you want to use it to grow and build and supersize your business? I think we've all experienced emotional branding. And the real power and key to it is the fact that we as human beings make decisions emotionally and then justify them with reason and with objective evidence after we've already made the decision and the, the and we've already decided something. So as much as we try to pretend, and I, I'm an engineer, so I like to think I'm rational and I analyze and I make decisions based on all the facts and all the data and all the analysis. But the truth is, just like anybody else, I tend to make emotions based on how something makes me feel and on emotions. And then I look for the evidence to back up my decision. We all do that. It's human nature. We do it in buying decisions. We do it in everything else. So we want to tap into the power of that as we're building and growing and supersizing our business. So why would we want to do that? Why would we want to tap into people's emotions? I'm going to share some of my favorite case studies. Not even favorite, but some of the things I remember from my childhood and from my youth, and that was a long time ago now, uh, that still stick with me and remind me of the power of emotional branding. Why do we want to do it? Number one, it builds trust. It builds loyalty. It allows us to attract brand advocates to our business and to our organization. It allows us to actually connect with other human beings. It helps us to differentiate ourselves in a crowded marketplace, as well as to drive customer engagement and satisfaction. People want to be able to relate to you and your brand and your organization. And the fastest, easiest, best way to do that is through stories, usually emotional stories, and stories that bring people in and things that they can relate to. It might not be your most important story or share, but it's the one that most of your ideal customers and clients can relate to. Uh, think of Nike and how they make us feel. How does a Nike commercial make you feel? Even if you've never had a pair of tennis shoes on, they make you feel something that you may or may not want to be connected with. Their target audience is totally connected with it, uh, with endurance, working hard, just doing it and taking action, and then the, you know the underdog having success, and everyday people tapping into their own power and their own energy and their own ability to achieve things that they might not have ever thought that they could. Uh, Coca-Cola, oh my gosh, is there a company besides AT&T? AT&T, Call Your Mom, a that whole series from when I was a, uh, younger, uh, Every single commercial practically brought tears to your eyes because they would tap into stories of people that needed to remember to call their mom. Uh, Betty Crocker even taps into baking is love. And you know who doesn't want more love in their life? So if you, if you bake Betty Crocker, cake, Crocker cakes and products, nowadays there's a whole lot of them, you are going to have more love in your life. Just like the cigarette commercials in the Marlboro Men. Remember them? Most of us do, or most of us who are, are my age do anyway. Uh, <clears throat> but the Coca-Cola commercials are all about tapping into emotion. Coca-Cola and Nike are leaders in their industry for a reason. It's because customers find them relatable. Customers are attracted emotionally first, and then they justify it with reason. And the facts and the figures and the features of the products and services that these companies offer in order to do business with them. These are definitely supersized organizations. And if you want to supersize and grow your organization, I highly recommend you find a way to tap into the emotions that your ideal customers and clients can relate to. Share in the comments below your experience with emotional branding, maybe your favorite uh, or the most memorable branding story from when you were younger. You know, they don't, I guess there's still TV commercials, but a lot less with streaming uh, networks and streaming uh, technology nowadays, but there still are. I mean, even Prime's got commercials now, uh, Amazon Prime. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting strategy uh, and how you might be able to use it to grow and build your business like right now. Have a great day.